Yeah, I'm not gonna talk for much. I'm just taking some some video for you guys. <laughs> Pretty snowy and cold here though today. There's nothing wrong with rubbing in for people that aren't here. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, you're taking pictures, so you're doing all right. Hey, Dad, look at this. Look. Hey, Let's do this here. Man, it's quiet. Does it have a big cam in this thing? Anyways, it's a Badlands with the 285 tires. Yeah, the ARB jack is massive. Turn buckles right there. That thing sticks way out though. We call that not a win. It's hard to stuff that in there underneath though. Ah, let's see. Come on. Eh, nothing to see down here. Not without crawling underneath the rope and getting hung. I did want to know what that button was. So that one on the right hand side is the mirrors and then the switch for left or right. All right. I like that interior, I like the seats. The seats are fantastic. I might have to switch my first edition to a Badlands. Anyways, let me get back here. We got some bigger views and then walk around and go do some other stuff. I think it's awesome that those lights don't flash in real life. It's just the screen update. Because I thought they had a cool little thing that made those lights flash like that. Where'd they go? I'll post up some pictures. And uh, nah, when they, if they get the hood open, I'll, I'll grab some shots of that. But right now they're not doing that. It is running though, and it's super quiet. I do you want to know where the speakers are in here? So the speakers are up in the dash, and they're up in the back pod right there. Is that where the speakers are? That's great. Uh, it's not Sasquatch, it's Badlands. Uh, 285 tires. It's not Sasquatch. You can tell by the flares too. Oh, are those flares, larger flares? Yeah. 
Since I haven't seen him one night before, I don't know. Yeah, this is cool. I wish I had a four door here. But if people are complaining about, you can tell exactly what it's gonna look like within those two pairs of doors. Let's see what we can see down here. I like that Bronco sign right there. That's cool. <laughs> All right, I'll post up some other videos as we're seeing stuff. And then I think maybe I'll just walk over here. Maybe we'll just walk over here. Here's the sport. It's not getting as much love. We're in Buena Vista, Colorado. It's super celebration. You know, Colorado weather, all of a sudden we got six, eight inches of snow down here. You know, this is bigger in person than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I like those seats. I'm not a fan of a brown interior. I know there's a couple poles that had brown way up high. I'm like, Ugh, give me black. I see what we have here. The 245, 70, 17 tires. Badlands badge right there. Yeah, I think it's bigger than expected. It's not terribly smaller than the than the new Bronco. You know, it's, it's a little lower. All right, thank you. See, if I was the Chevy guy, we'd make fun of having to carry extra vehicles, right? But now this is awesome. It fits in there nice. Yeah. Yeah, the proprietary Yakima rack. Able to get that right from the dealership. Yeah, that thing is fancy. <laughs> yeah, this thing is bigger than I thought. It's not terribly, like I said, it's not terribly smaller than that. There's room in there. Yeah. Lower. No, the first, yeah, the first one was a Badlands, and it's with the 30, uh, 33s, yeah, 285s. No hand grips on this one. Yeah, I like, I like the way that monitor sticks up like that. I don't know why I like that, but that's pretty cool. Go back to the, yeah, all right, I'm on my way back there. Say goodbye. That's not so bad, but that's, I could buy a lot of different vehicles with, with that style. At some point I'm gonna have to put my hand back in my glove though, guys. 
All right, so we'll go slow here. He's probably getting some kind of. I feel they're 285, 7017s. Okay, back up here. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. <laughs> We're not doing any trail rides right now, so we're safe. So, I like that block for your foot. I think it's pretty big if you're wearing boots. The recovery gear might get and I'm getting used today. I think it's vinyl. That is definitely the wash. The floor is nice. The washout floor is nice. Did we decide this is a vinyl interior? Sorry? Is this a vinyl interior? Like those seats are those vinyl? Yes. Give me a second. Let me yeah, get, yeah. I, I know, right? <laughs> I can't tell. Either way, they look great. Yeah, so there's the, the floor. It was running a few minutes ago. Yeah, but at least we can see on the inside. Let's take a look at these mounting brackets here. I don't know how those would come off real fast. Yeah, yeah, this is real snow. Or they paid a heck of a lot to truck all this stuff in here. We're getting started here. Super celebration. It's off to a slow start. I think everyone's getting ice off their rigs. It was pretty nasty down here. We're in Buena Vista, Colorado at the Broncos Super Celebration West. It starts today, these guys got their stuff out. These guys are the first ones to have the stuff loaded up. We're out in the snow. Those cables are uh, called uh, limb, limb, um, I don't know what they're called. They're, I think they're called limb, they're for limbs anyways. They're, um, if you drive through them, they push the limbs away from the, the body so that they're not banging against their glass. If you're really doing that, man, you got bigger problems. I'd be more worried about the paint and the limbs than I would be worried about the branches rubbing on glass. Sweeps. Hey, that's a great word right there. Limb risers. Look at you guys. They had the back open a little while ago. No speakers in the doors. They're up in the front and in the back. And here's the uh, $600 tow package. Bolt on bracket. Let 
Give me a second here. Come back around. Has a seven and a four though. And the cool Bronco nuts. Bolts. Um, did that have a front license plate mount? I don't know. Let me go take a look. That's the rear though. The rear looks good. Hey guys. I don't see a good spot for a front license plate. But that's okay, because I don't believe in them. Uh, back seat, yeah, stand by. Let's see if we can stick the camera in there a little bit. Let the camera acclimate to the light. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a terrible time getting a view of this back there. Stand by, and get motion sickness. Yeah, it's tough to get in there. Yeah, so here's the interior. It's supposed to be vinyl. Man, this stuff looks like leather. If it's the vinyl, I think it's super awesome. It's definitely the modular top. Let me see if I can find the lever to pop out the... I can't see the lever from inside to make sure that they pop out. I'll ask about that. I'm sorry, guys. No, you're good. All right. I'm right in everyone's way. Say thanks to everyone in my way. Let's see. It'd be nice to see some sitting here to see what, how high you sat in it. But if you know your head's really sitting on the headrest, which would be about right, you really do have a lot of room above it. That's about six inches, maybe almost eight. Okay. It doesn't look like it is. It can right now. So are these a modular, are this module top where the windows come out? Correct. It is? Okay. Yep. Yeah, you can see the inside. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. We're going to take a look at the inside, guys. Oh, yeah, there's, oh, oh. Try not to move your. So where's the release levers for those? Oh, I'm sorry for the side window. Are these the side ones? Do they come out? You've got um, four bolts along the bottom there. Okay. Yep. All right. So that's the upper latches right there for the top. Okay. Yep. Here's your 12 volt power, guys. Thank you for doing this. You bet. Freezing your butt off. No, you're good. You drew, a, you drew the short straw if you're here or not in, <laughs> in California. So this, oh yeah, this is the optional um, fold down, flip down table. Okay, I like that. It is a full size spare, ladies. Wait, wait, wrong person, Brian. Thank you. Turn your camera, or everyone's gonna yell at you. Watch. When I do that, it tells me to rotate my camera. Oh, you're so, doing like a live? live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, right? I know, they do, they do, they Everyone do. Everyone yells at you. I know, I'm like, I would love to have different, thank you. And then it, and, yeah, because if you turn your phone, then it still flips. Yeah, that is the worst part about this platform is, is you have this terrible angle. Oh, it's trying to see the badge on the side, yeah. It is a Badlands, definitely a Badlands. Has a 285, 75, 17, 70, 17 tires on it. So there's your Badlands badge. And it's definitely a Badlands. It has most of the Badlands stuff. The 33 inch tires. I'll show sure you guys this winch sticking way out there. I'm not a big fan of this. Let me get down a little further so you can see this. So hopefully there's, a, there's another way to mount this thing because that's not going to work. Yeah, the... Yeah, 
walk around here. <laughs> I'm just laughing. This is like our first Facebook Live ever. I think there's supposed to be more commentary, but that's not what I do. I like these tube doors. They're actually pretty sweet looking. I really appreciate that no one has commented about the poor video, so thank you guys. There's the port where you disconnect the electronics when you take your doors off. Made that pretty easy. Uh, eight inch. Yeah, that is the eight inch screen. Poor video, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, hey, we're in um, Buena Vista, Colorado. Um, I don't know if I can touch this. I'm going to. That's not going to tell me anything, though. Yeah, it's made of fabric. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there was a couple people discussing it, and no, it's, if it's vinyl, it's really close to leather. And um, it is pretty small. I like that. And there was a couple other questions. I don't know. Like, flooring, poor video, check. USB ports, that's what I was going to look for. Let me find out where the USB ports are. And definitely could get child seat in there. It's hard to see. You can't, like I tried to get, oh yeah, hold on a second. They took one seat down. Thank you. You could definitely get kid seats in here, no problem. You can get two. And if you have three, well, you don't deserve a Bronco. You can get one of those in 18 years, guys. USB ports, let's find my guy. It's got a few on there. Um, yeah, as you can see by the, the wheel stand here, they, they took this one as, I don't want to use the word concept vehicle, but they added on a few extra goodies to it. Um, Do you know where I'll, I'm sorry. No, please, I ahead. thought you were done, sorry. USB ports, where are the USB ports in this thing? So you've got two, uh, I believe there's two in the dash there. Um, okay. To be able to charge devices. Let's see exactly where they are. We're looking for those USB ports on top, pull tight. They're hiding up in there somewhere? Yeah, I okay. do know there is, there is power. Now. Yeah, yeah. This device is charged. Yep. But I apologize, I don't know exactly No, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. Accessory rail. <laughs> the hard top looks good. The hard top looks really good. I apologize, you already said you're so vinyl or leather. Yeah. Yeah, the roof rack is sweet. <laughs> and accessory rail, standby. What will the weight be? I don't, I don't know the specs. Accessory rail. Yeah, there you go. Let's get the accessory rail in there. There you go. And so definitely the top front part comes off and so does the back. There's the brackets for the back port.
Yeah, they're pretty sweet. They're nice. We're definitely in Colorado. Not Sasquatch package. It's a Badlands. So I ordered a, or a you know, I reserved, don't want to get in trouble for saying the wrong word, an, F, an FE, which has the same grill. I like the grill okay. This grill is definitely, um, dude, I think I like the one on the wall track better. I do like the white on it. Uh, this one doesn't have the active shutters though. And I'm not sure why the, these two uh, don't use active shutters. I actually want to find out. Um, I think the guy we're talking to today wouldn't know. Um, hood looks good. I can't wait to see the first edition graphics. I have a 67 Bronco that's just about finished. And I like the way the, the fender lines and the hood match. It looks a bit, well, the hood doesn't match exactly, but I do like the front. It does kind of follow the original styling on it. I like the mirrors here. Uh, no, there was no insulation on the inside up in the hood. That is just the, um, the composite they used to make the top. If it's insulated, it's, it's insulated inside there. Touch it for you. Stand by. Look at this. Bronco. I'm going to get in trouble. If I lose my finger, you owe me. I like it in black, but I don't. It, hide, it really hides a bunch of the lines. Let's see. keep trying to get out of the, the photographer's way too yeah some of these models come with the extra dampening I know the FE does and the outer banks do they come standard with with that I think and I agree insulation and of course when you're living in places like this where it's snowing then you were gonna want the insulation anyways Hey, I don't think your head will hit those roof panels, dude. I'm gonna show you this. So, your head should be sitting at the headrest. There is six to eight inches, and I don't know if this video will, will reflect this. There's a ton of room between your head and those roof panels. 32-inch tires, yeah. Ooh, let's start talking about colors. We can all argue about what the best color is. I know that my first edition, I don't get the colors I want. So I'll be fighting over Area 51 and the Cactus Gray. Oh, it's definitely pre-production. We're not, we're not expecting anything. I'm not even expecting good fit and finish on this stuff. Let's see. Yeah, Rapid Red would be nice. Let's see that mole. Let's see if I can, I can see it on the back panel, I think. Oh, your stealth mode. Let's see, so this is just a flip down tail gate accessory. Oh yeah, I can't get a good view of this, but stand by. There is the mole panels. It is hard. They are hard metal panels. Yeah, there you go. Hope it helps. Oh, wait, wait. It smells like snow, what it smells like. I like this box. That's okay. And it's like stabbing that stick in the back, you know. That's why I get more I ain't never doing it again, I'm telling you. Hey, so I'm six foot. I wish you could see someone sitting in this thing, but. If your head would be sitting at the headrest, you have a ton of room for your head. Oh man, hey, can you sit in the? Can you sit in here for a minute when you're done? So just so we can get a kind of an idea how high your head sits in here. Yeah, okay, we got. We got some help us out. Let's see, coming forward. Ooh, I'm gonna grab the video of that. Stand by, we're moving quick, we're moving fast, snow. Now we got to drive through. As you can see the legroom on the other side, it's like they just need to make a little bit more legroom in the back. 
Okay, guys. All right, let's take a look at the back of your back. Tim is going to hook us up. So that's how far the seat goes forward. That's decent ingress into the back right there. Extra hard. Yeah. I'll get your winner. No, you're good. These guys are used to my video sucking, so it's all right. Oh, yeah, stand by, guys. I'll show you the air vent. It's a pretty big air vent, dude. Can you throw the um, seat cushion back? The driver should be holding on to the shifter. Come on, man. Uh, drain plugging back? We'll find out here in a second. There are drain plugs in the back. Right there. There is no storage underneath that seat, though, in a two-door. And, no, there was no vent in that console. Yeah, if you get a chance, if you can hop in there, just so we can see how tall you sit in there, that would be fantastic. Hat and all. Nah, you don't need a V8, come on. Yeah, so look at all that room above his head. There's six inches. Six two. He's six two, and he has at least six inches above his head. Dude, you'd have to head a really hard bump without seatbelt on to be touching that thing. <laughs> yeah, they want four people sitting. Hey, do you want us to run down to uh, to uh, Burger Place? Yeah. Those center con the the vents in the under the floorboard are really big though. I know they're not bouncing in your face, but that's pretty good. Yeah, and the guy said he was 6'2". Does the shift lever have a pull up to shift in reverse? Yes, it does. It has a uh, ring on it. There's the lift up ring right there. We'll get Tim to maybe throw that in reverse for us here. Let me step back here for a minute. I just want to grab a bigger view of this. Hey, if you were here signing up, you could get yourself a cool camper's mug. Needs a 302. A 302 is way old school. I have one in my 67, but come on. I want someone to say it needs an LS. Man, a 2020 Gladiator? You can have both. <laughs> so I like the mirrors. When they fold in, they'll be in way more than the flares, so that's good. <laughs> Not 1996. 95 was the last one in a Mustang. I'm super excited about the, the 27 V6 and the 23. I do, I do tuning, so once they open this thing up so that we can get into this over the air architecture stuff, this thing is going to be just a beast. 400 horsepower will be fine. Well, yeah, 6.2 would be pretty good, too. But you know what? Sometimes you just don't want 10 miles per gallon. The back? Yeah, Jennifer, hold on. We'll walk around to the back. I think those um, turnbuckles are just a little obnoxious. I mean, I don't think you go much smaller. So... Uh, they decided this was leather interior. I know it's supposed to be vinyl, but 
I ordered the first, or I reserved, reserved the uh, first edition. And, um, and I wish you had this interior. This, uh, this black is nice. It's not glossy. It's, it's pretty mute. Um, it is a Badlands. It's not lifted. This is the, the Badlands suspension on it. Has a 33 inch charts. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. All right. Yep, no Sasquatch. This rack again. How much is this one? I don't think you can buy this one. But I think the way this is sitting, it's um, way over 50 with the top. Good lord, man, my fingers are freezing. Hold on, I'm gonna switch hands. And then put my other glove on. All right, back to it. Okay, rack in the back. It is mounted. Looks like it's mounted by those bolts. It's hard mounted. Yeah, but if you have sweaty feet, come on, putting the vents down there would be perfect. Your wife will appreciate it later. Look, Barry, that's a load of log. That's a log, man. It's a real Okay, I'll agree with the how big it is. You could get to the take the steps up there. I'm a big fan of small bumpers, though. Man, that fuel door is pretty massive. So here is the um, rock rails. And we'll take a little walk down the line here. Maybe I can see how they're mounted here. I'm gonna do a going down low. For you guys in the south, this white stuff is snow. It's not cocaine. Man, that second bar would be perfect if you're running chains. The chains aren't gonna hit the the panels at all. all right. Sure That's the disconnect for the doors. Here's how these lights mount. I don't think these mirrors come off quickly. Rear seat legroom. Um, we had the we had it open. It's not a power step. Those are rock rails. And um, there's 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 room back there. I can sit back there. I'm six foot. Um, but I don't think you're going to be stretching your feet out for sure. Uh, our guy's not around here, so I can't ask about the gas door. I'll see you about that here in a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, you're, he's fine. That's a huge snowball. You're going to find someone that deserves that? Because someone's going to feel that. Well, that was a Miami, actually, was what I was thinking of. This stuff washes on your beaches. I'm actually originally from Alaska, so this is normal. Yeah, these doors are awesome. I'm glad, glad they're not gloss. I need some contrast there. The handholds, grab bars are awesome. I think those things are fantastic. No four door. I wanted a four door. I, I am getting a four door. My wife says yes. Yeah, wash the dishes. Take out the trash too if that's necessary. Yeah, I like all the Jeep models except for the Wranglers. I've never liked the front of them. So I'm glad that this one doesn't have the same kicked in nose. Mark the old Broncos. 
Uh, the dash is plastic. Let's go take a look though, shall we? Stand by. Okay, I don't see any fabrics on the dash. It is really just different textures of plastic. It's like the smooth plastic in the Bronco portion of the center, and then it's a, it's a textured vinyl up on top. There's a roof rail, or the rack, I'm sorry, not the roof rack, but the accessory rail right up there. I think there's six, I think this is, there's six models, right? And um, this is not a Sasquatch. It is a Badlands, so it has 33 inch tires. It doesn't have the additional lift or the 35s. Rear window defrost. Look at you guys coming up with all the good questions. Does it appear cheap? Um, my wallet says it doesn't appear cheap. But um, no, most of this does not appear cheap. So it definitely has rear window defrost. Probably using that today. Um, they do have models that are, that are leather. Uh, the first edition, the Outer Banks, and I think the top four models actually have leather as an as a option. But I also don't want um, that navy color. I might go vinyl to get this interior. There's your 12-volt power strip in the back, so the kid on the right-hand side will be able to charge their phone. Um, there's probably center console. I can't reach it. There is no vent there, although there is a block off plate right there uh the tires are 285 70 17 i can certainly do that for you you can put well if you're if you're like kids and stuff like that you could put a bunch of bodies in there but that's gross man i'd say about i would say you could get in on uh, the four people that bother you the most in the back um uh, approximate depth. Someone actually measured all this. That's not very far. That's two feet right there. Maybe uh, maybe 20 inches. But I'm a guy, so take that with a grain of salt. Not a lot of room um, in the two-door with gear in the back. The, uh, both seats do fold up, though, separately. Bodies. I, I didn't say it. Someone else said it. I'm just helping him out. He wanted to know how many people could fit in the back if they're bodies. Maybe he meant going into a drive-in. If you're going to drive and you can grab your whole squad. Hey! You've been watching me for like 15 minutes? I'm on Facebook live in it for the people that aren't here. I don't have a clue. Hey, I'm going to have to go to work, guys. So um, it was nice seeing you, and I'll, I'll post some more video up later.